So for breakfast today, I'm going to have a green smoothie and a broiled grapefruit. So here is my usual broiled grapefruit. It has one packet of Truvia, um, one teaspoon of unsweetened coconut that I um, just sprinkled all over the top. And then I just put this under the broiler for about 30 seconds, 30 seconds to a minute, just depending. It's really strange. If the grapefruit is really super cold, sometimes it takes longer. Anyway, until it's just all broiled on top. And then my smoothie is going to be my normal. This is my... Um, favorite organic protein powder right now. This is a plant-based protein powder. This is the French vanilla. So I have, I do um, serving of this, and then I do a serving of these organic greens, and I do a little bit of cinnamon, and then I do a whole lot of spinach. Like this will be probably enough for my smoothie. I might have to add a little bit more. I have a little bit more spinach in the refrigerator, and then I do one banana. So I'm, this will be my smoothie I'll just have um, when I get to work, and then I'll eat this before I leave for work. I do a half of a cup of the unsweetened almond milk as well. I'm prepping my lunch so I wanted to show you what I was doing. So I have 63 grams of avocado in here so that'll be three points and I put in some garlic pep pepper, garlic pepper, garlic powder, some red pepper flakes and also some Himalayan pink salt. So I'm just going to smash that up with a fork until it's really smashed up. And then I cut out, I have three ounces of a sweet potato here, so I'm just going to make some sweet potato toast, and this will be my lunch. I am getting some water to boiling. I'm going to make two poached eggs. Yes, I know I'm obsessed with poached eggs this week, but it has been so yummy. I am sipping on some hot lemon water, and that is what I am doing, getting ready to make my lunch. Okay, so here it will be my lunch today. I have a two sweet potatoes or two sweet potato toasts. Um, it is two points worth of sweet potato. I just cut them really super thin and I put them in the microwave for a minute and then I just sauteed them in a skillet quickly on both sides to kind of sear it and add some flavor with the seasoning. And then you saw what I put in the avocado. So I have three points worth of avocado and then I have two poached eggs. So the eggs are four points. So this would be seven, eight, nine points for lunch today. So I'll just heat this up at lunchtime. And then for snacks, I am bringing some strawberries and then my usual raw veggies. So this will be lunch and snack today. Good morning guys, so happy Thursday. It is so dark out here and I'm sorry, the quality on these videos I know have been horrible with my you know morning chat, but it's because it's so dark and it's even worse on my way home. So <laughs> apologize for that, nothing I can do about it. How do you know a fancier, cam fancier cameras um, do any better on that? I'm not sure. I am, I am still looking at cameras. I am not sure what kind I want to get. But anywho, um, I'm feeling so good this morning. Um, really, really good. But there's one thing that is really weird. I mean, like my stomach feels good this morning and I felt really good yes, last night. Like by the end of the day, I felt really good. So again, I love all your comments. I am definitely gonna take to heart what a lot of you are saying about seeing some kind of specialist or something. And I think I'm gonna do that. I am gonna go see my doctor in December. If anything starts getting any worse, I'll see him sooner. But right now I just wanna plan for it around my days off and I don't have to you know, take time off of work and that kind of thing. So um, I'm gonna plan for it like the beginning of my Christmas break. Or I may, now I'm gonna say I may do it the week of Thanksgiving, but I have family and stuff here. So I think I'll definitely do it the week during Christmas break. And I'll just do it at the very beginning and then that way, um, and I'm pretty sure my doctor will have no problem referring me to a, um, like a gastro, was it GI doctor or whatever. I don't think that like headlights behind me are really making this lighting look weird, isn't it? Anyway, so I don't think you'll have an issue with that. Um, my insurance, unfortunately, does not pay for nature paths. Um, I do, my coworker, she um, sees a nature path, but um, her insurance that she has through her husband also does not cover it. So I guess, you know, maybe that must be a common thing. But anyway, I really like my doctor though, and I feel like he will listen to me. I have never had an issue with him not, um, you know, not really listening to me and taking what I'm saying, you know, to heart or anything. These are not things I've really discussed with him besides the irregularity, which has not been like a really extreme. And this is like some new things that I have going on right now. So 
I think he'll take it to heart and I think if I ask him about seeing somebody, I think he'll definitely do a referral, which is something that's required by my insurance. I do have to have a referral or nothing will be paid for. So, um, so anyway, so that'll be coming down the line. But in the meantime, I am going to start kind of implementing some of the things that you guys suggested. And one of them being, um, Cherie over at Motivated Muffins. Um, she was talking about kombucha and you guys all know her love for kombucha so I have only tried one kind or one flavor I don't remember the flavor I want to say I'll remember it when I see it in the store um, but that's the only kind that I've ever tried and I did not like it but I really want to give it a chance because I had that's one thing when I was doing some research the last few days on gut health that kept popping up in every single article I read so I think, you know, she's on the mark there when it comes to that. And I think it's, isn't it fermented? I think it's like part of the whole fermented foods thing. So I'm going to pick a couple up. I think I'm going to pick one up this morning. Well, I don't think I have time this morning. So I will just, on my lunch break, I will go to the store and I'm going to get some. Because there's only like one or two stores that sell it here. And I'm going to pick one up and try it. I, probably in the meantime, maybe I will message Cherie and ask her what flavor she thinks I should try. So anyway, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try that. Um, I'm going to try some more of the fermented foods. I am just going to kind of look into some of the things you guys suggested, some of the things I'm finding online and just go from there and um, see what happens in the meantime, you know, to see if it clears anything up. And if it does, great. Cause I figure I have this time to do it before I go see my doctor in December and just to see if anything changes. So I'm going to do that. And none of the things are like extreme or are things that I should see my doctor first before doing. I mean, these are all natural, you know, holistic approaches to gut health. So I figured it's fine. You know, I'm not going to worry about any of that. I, like I've told you guys before, I have taken probiotic supplements before did not like how they I just did not like how they sat with my stomach plus I have a huge issue taking pills in general or like vitamin type pills I burp them up like crazy even if they say burpless or even if they just and they don't when they hit my stomach like regular multivitamins when vitamins when they hit my stomach they hit there like a brick I can feel them hit my stomach it is so weird so that's why I always do the chewable ones so I really would like to get the probiotics in my system naturally versus taking any kind of supplement. I really believe in natural ways around it rather than, you know, taking these supplements. Now the only supplement I do take, which I do not take regularly like I should, is my vitamin D. And that is because I know that I am deficient in vitamin D. That is something that um, my doctor, you know, has told me and I was tested for. So I am deficient in vitamin D. So that is something for sure that I need to, um, that I need to take. I'm just very inconsistent about it because I'm not used to taking, I'm actually inconsistent about taking my multivitamin, my chewable multivitamins, but, um, I eat so many, you know, vitamins and stuff anyway that I, I might mean, eat, I eat my vitamins, you know, eat my vitamins. So I, I feel like I get enough of my vitamins in and, oh, speaking of which, my, um, my stats from yesterday. I left them in my purse. Okay, so, oh, I forgot to write my vitamins down. I know they are pretty high, like my vitamin A, vitamin C, and all that. So, um, yesterday, I, the only thing, I was feeling better, but I had zero appetite, zero. And that is kind of the case this morning too. I just don't have an appetite. So what is going on? Where's my appetite? I didn't even really eat lunch yesterday. I wanted to eat lunch. I got my salad out, started eating it. It just, I was not hungry, not hungry at all. So I had to go to Walgreens to get some um, mascara. Totally random, I know. And, but Walgreens is like literally like three blocks away from my work. So I went down there and I thought, well, I'm just going to pick up a protein bar because I figure, um, that way I had something because I just was not was not hungry and that way I could have it for later and not make any bad choices. So I got a Think Thin Lemon Protein Bar, which is six points. So I ended up just eating that and I felt fine. Oh, great. Someone bought a new car and they have a dozen donuts with them. This is like the thing we're trying to get rid of here is getting rid of you bring donuts when you buy a car. Bring a fruit platter when you buy a car. What is wrong with that? Seriously. <sighs> 
Anyway, so I'm not going to eat the donuts because I brought my green smoothie and I ate my grapefruit, which was so good. I haven't had that all week and I hope it doesn't do anything to my stomach, the acid and the grapefruit. So I'm just going to be careful with the um, acidic stuff because I really like my grapefruit in the morning. So I'm going to have start having that again and seeing what happens, but I'll just kind of ease off of other things that are real acidic. I've been really, as you guys can see this week, I have been loving the sweet potato thing. I don't know why, just suddenly, like sweet potatoes and eggs are like my jam. I don't know what it is, but it is just something that I am loving, and it doesn't seem, it seems that everything seems to be going well with that. So, anyway, I just don't know where my appetite went. This morning I woke up, wasn't hungry. I ate my, I thought, well, I just want, but I wanted that grapefruit so bad. So I ate the grapefruit, made my smoothie, had no desire to drink it. Um, I have my coffee here. This is my only coffee I've had today. I drank that warm lemon water this morning. That was so good, so refreshing. So I think I'm going to start doing that in the mornings. And, um, but yeah, no appetite. So we'll see what happens the rest of the day. I brought that stuff for lunch and it's just kind of a small lunch. So I think that'll be fine. The strawberries I've been loving lately. I know those are a little bit acidic too. So I'll have to be careful with those. Uh, but we'll see how the rest of the day goes. I did bring a chia, like one of those pressed kind bars. The chia, it was the chia banana coconut. I couldn't find it and it was in my car. So I have that just in case and that's like six points. So I have that just in case I want anything, you know, sweet later on. But my stats from yesterday, so I ended up having 30 smart points and that was again with having that, oh, the other thing I found at Walgreens when I went there was some pretzels, crisps, and those, a little thing of um, red roasted red pepper hummus so I had that for two points and I did have the pretzel Chris had 11 of those for three points I believe yeah so that was my lunch yesterday it just was enough to satisfy me I did I had that in the protein bar and that's really it just that was enough I maybe I just wasn't wanting the salad I don't know but I didn't even eat that till after one it was like way after my lunch was over it was like 1 30 or something so it was really odd and then for dinner last night, those chicken meatballs were okay. I won't be buying them again. Those are the ones I got at Costco. They were, they had a really strong basil flavor, which I like, but I mean, it was strong. It was really super strong. And that's why everybody was like, oh, what is, what's the seasoning in this? So I'm not going to buy them again. I still have a half a package left. I'll just throw that in the freezer and use those. And maybe I'll make it like for the kids, like for lunch one day, like meatball subs or something like that. Because I think if it was have with some marinara sauce, they won't like notice the flavor as much in cheese. So I think that's what I'll do with the rest of them. I probably won't buy them again. So there's my little mini review on those. But it made for a good dinner with the... Um, sweet potato and zucchini sauteed with a little bit of spinach so it actually was really yummy these simple like um real whole food ingredient dinners and lunches and breakfasts have been something i've been really craving though so i'm really i mean i'm glad because normally i have you know was having yogurt i was having oatmeal which i you know are all really good breakfast but i don't know this vegetable for breakfast thing has just been what i've been craving lately so but I'm wondering too if maybe I want more of these hot lunches. That's why I brought that for lunch today, the sweet potato toast, because I thought, well, maybe I am not wanting the salads anymore right now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Although for dinner tonight, I think I'm going to have my Asian um, wonton salad because that sounds really good. Or I may make like a wonton soup. I don't know. We will see what happens. I am been weighing myself every day this week because I was so high up on the scale. I was like six pounds up. On Monday or Tuesday it goes six pounds over which is I don't understand so I weighed again today and I'm still three pounds up from my Friday weight which was which is like 186.4 is like right now my what my lowest has been and I'm three pounds at 189.4 so I don't know what's going on I'm just not worrying about the scale as much right now I just need to make sure my my gut is healed and my I'm just eating healthy things so that's just really what I'm focusing on right now um so that's really like I said I think that's what's important but I've got to go so I'm gonna tell you my stats real quick on my stuff yesterday so I ended up with 30 smart points 1195 calories 46 fat 119 carbs 21 fiber so not very much fiber for sure yesterday 66 protein not a lot of protein 1854 sodium which is good and the way it broke down by meal was breakfast 265 calories, lunch 410 calories, that's because of that protein bar, dinner 285 calories, snacks 114 calories, and drinks 120 calories, and that was all coffee creamer. Seriously, I had way too much coffee yesterday. So 
I need to go because I need to call my husband and I, um, yeah, tomorrow we will have healthy dinner ideas posted in the morning. I probably will not do a video tomorrow because I have to do my usual grocery list, meal plan, all that kind of fun stuff tomorrow. But again, I will um, try to show you anything throughout the weekend. You will have a grocery haul and probably a meal prep on Sunday. I'm not sure. Sunday's my birthday. I'm not sure what we're doing. We're going out to dinner Saturday night, going out to lunch tomorrow with my department. So I'm not sure what's going on. My eating will not be very good the next couple days, but then it'll, my birthday will be over and we don't have anything until Thanksgiving that will even tempt me. So just get it out of my system now. But anyway, I gotta go. I will talk to you guys all soon. Bye guys.